as we mentioned with Iran and potential nuclear weapons. Well, that along with pressure from Washington is exactly why the United Nations is considering placing sanctions against Iran. And joining us live from New York City now, not too far from the UN headquarters, is our own Marina Portnaya. Now, Marina, we know the Security Council met Thursday and Iran was a major topic of discussion. What's the latest news? Well, the latest news is that we heard uh, mostly from the uh, ambassadors of the, the United States, France, and Britain, all laying out their arguments for why these uh, more, uh, more sanctions, a fourth round, need to be imposed on Iran. Uh, the U.S. and its Western allies says that Tehran has done nothing to relieve the international community over its concerns regarding Iran's nuclear enrichment program, and these are concerns that have been going on for, for many, many, many years. So, uh, in a as a result of that, the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times, among many other publications, have reported that the U.S. is uh, circulating a draft uh, resolution with sanctions in it that would be imposed on Iran that includes sanctions against uh, banks, insurance companies, uh, sh the shipping sector, uh, and so on and so forth. But uh, the, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Susan Rice, did come out and speak with the media and denied that there's any uh, draft resolution that is being circulated in New York, anything written up. Uh, and that her colleagues have seen. Nonetheless, she says that Iran needs to be held accountable for violating international law. And as we've been reporting, it's the U.S. and its Western allies that say that Iran's uh, nuclear program is a danger to the international community. Of course, Iran says that its, uh, its program of, of enriching uranium is only being used for peaceful purposes. And, Marina, you mentioned this would be the fourth round of sanctions. The U.N. Security Council has already passed three against Iran. So how effective could more sanctions be, really? That's a very good question. It's one that uh, many reporters always end up asking the, uh, the ambassadors, the diplomats here. Why, why pass another round of sanctions if... You haven't seen any conclusions from the previous ones. Uh, according to what's been reported, it would be uh, tougher sanctions than the previous three if they were to pass, hypothetically. But another another element that's concerned uh, the members of the Security Council is a recent report that came out from the International Atomic uh, uh, Energy uh, Agency, the, essentially the UN's watchdog group. They, they uh, released a report that basically reinforces the concerns over Iran's uh, uh, deceptive kind of of practices regarding its uh, nuclear program. And the IAEA says that uh, Iran has not been transparent uh, with investigators, has not allowed them to pursue all the avenues that they would like to pursue to make sure that the, their program, Tehran's program, is indeed peaceful. And this is one issue that, that the Russian ambassador to the United Nations, Vitaly Cherkin, spoke about when addressing the hypothetical of another fourth round of sanctions being placed uh, against Iran. Here's a little bit of what he had to say. We are concerned by the uh, concerns expressed by IA. We are guided by IA. We respect IA. So when uh, they, uh, they are not satisfied with uh, what they see in their cooperation with uh, Tehran, we are obviously uh, also very concerned. And this, this adds up to things uh, which uh, uh, raise uh, uh, worries about uh, the uh, nature of uh, their nuclear program, and uh, that only reinforces, uh, obviously, in our mind as well. Now, uh, Ambassador Cherkin, of, of course, they're speaking about Russia's concerns over uh, Iran's activity, but it is China at this point, the veto-wielding member, one of five in the Security Council, that has not yet endorsed any push for sanctions against Iran. Now, uh, China believes that all diplomatic measures have not been exhausted yet, uh, that uh, negotiations and uh, talks should continue. So uh, we'll have to wait and see, because without China's support, resolutions of uh, with sanctions included could not move through the Security Council. Right. And, you know, we're talking about China. We're talking about Russia. We're talking about the resistance against these sanctions. Mm -hmm. Are there any other Security Council members that are planning to block the move? Well, we have to remember there's there's 15 member states of the Security Council, and uh, not all of them, uh, aside from the five, uh, the permanent five, uh, you know, are on board. Uh, specifically, Lebanon has come out said that the, they do not support this uh, sanctions against Iran. Brazil and Turkey also very outspoken that they don't believe that uh, more sanctions should be pressured and put on Iran. Uh, so. Uh, 
there still uh, only needs to be nine member states on board to uh, approve a resolution with sanctions on it, but you could already see the divide taking place. And what's being reported is that uh, the Western uh, powers in the U.S. would like a resolution adopted before a May conference uh, that would be on the 1970 Non-Proliferation Treaty to revise that, because essentially it sends the groundwork of uh, nuclear weapons, who could have them, who could pursue them, and that's why the Security Council is trying to uh, hammer out this issue all right for May all right Marina well we'll stay tuned and keep watching to see if that does indeed happen before May.